I haven't posted in a while, but I've been busy. Uh, Martin Lauren has a brand new development project out, and you guys know how I like to feature his work. It's called HS-ACC Wi-Fi Accelerometer. It's based on the ADXL345 accelerometer. That's the digital version and the ESP32 W room boards, either the 30 pin or the 38 pin ones. And the firmware is very easily flashed on these boards through the ESP32 download tool. There are two variants of this project. There is a single, which will use all three X, Y, Z axis of a single ADXL chip. And there is the double, which will use the X axis only out of each of two ADXL chips, leaving two digital channels available for a sync. These ADXL boards run three to four dollars. An ESP32 board, six to seven dollars. The license for this project is about six to twelve dollars. This HS-ACC platform gives us access to vibration analysis technology and to dynamic balancing uh, capability at a fraction like less than one percent of what typically this type of work would cost. It's a platform on which we implement our intended use. And uh, I will lead by example and in the not too distant future I'm going to implement one of each, a single implementation and a dual implementation. For the single variant, my implementation is going to be a self-contained compact accelerometer unit that will be able to beam XYZ access information directly to our smartphone. Good for monitoring equipment in industry, but for us um, automotive types, it's going to be a unit that can be secured to the vehicle and provide us with localized NVH information uh, on a test drive to be able to pinpoint the source and the frequency of the noise uh, that may be present on the vehicle. But I'll start with an implementation of the dual variant. And for the first time here on the Gadgets Playlist, we have enough channels at our disposal to implement two-plane dynamic balancing. I'm in the process of designing a 3D printable two-plane dynamic balancer. When done, I'll share all the files and build details and I'll give a demo on its capability. So as usual, I'm waiting on a few components. When they come in and the rest of the work is done, I hope you'll join me here and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. Take care, guys.